What's up, y'all? It has been entirely too damn long. I am... Yeah, sorry. I have been... I don't want to say busy, but I've been distracted, I guess. And I felt really bad, because I'm like, man, I miss recording, you know. I miss the people asking, like, hey, where are your videos? All oh, that was funny. I kind of miss it. So, like, and I've got a bunch of beer in my fridge that I just haven't been drinking, because I'm like, i got to save that for a video. Which is making me spend more money on beer I do want to drink, or make me go out. So that's really fun. Um, I guess on a serious note, your boy struggles a little bit with the blues. In chronic, not necessarily clinical, but, you know. So there are days that I don't want to get out of bed to go to work. Um, there are weekends I will stay in bed all day and not do anything. I've canceled on a lot of friends to just get away from stuff so I don't have the energy. Um, it's not always bad. Like, between moving, like, I got a little boost of energy. But at the same time, it just took a lot out of me. So, like, it was like, before I moved, you too! Things just kind of went down. Not you guys. Not that I didn't want to do it. Just didn't have any energy. Um, also to create it, Tiff, I've been struggling to come up with good stories. Like, when I made this channel, I wanted it to be beer review and story time. And I've got plenty of alcohol to drink. I can review beer till you know, the heat death of the universe. But I want to make sure I give y'all good stories. Um, and I feel like just a few videos like that will hopefully never see the light of day just weren't good. So I want to give quality content, and I feel bad when I rush a video. I feel bad when I haven't rehearsed a little bit in my head because a lot of times a lot of my videos are quasi rehearsed. That means I have a small script, which just means I know what I'm talking about before I record. Um, but a lot of times, you know, I've done a few on the fly, and yeah, I like doing stuff on the fly. Sometimes you have to, but just with y'all, I want to give you something good. Enough serious talk. Um, it's Friday when I'm recording. Let's get to drinking. I think I'm on a kick of orange ales. This is the Ellison, Su Ellison Super Fuzz Blood Orange Ale. Also really dig homeboy's afro in this picture. Um, Ellison, I've had pretty good luck with them. Um, they haven't really done me wrong. But, um, yeah, I think I remember a few beers I've done for y'all. It's just a few I've had while I've been out. I kept my bottle opener off, just so you wouldn't hear my keys. But, um, we'll see. You guys know the drill. Taste, smell, where to drink it, what I do it again. It's also 6.4%. And sometimes what I try to do, I try to record multiple videos at a time, which would be fine if I wasn't drinking. Because by video three or four, words are slurring, and, you know... You just get shit, sh a shit show. But I'm pretty poor. I can definitely tell there's some orange to it. Is there yeast in the bottle? I really hope this beer's not expired, but um... Y'all, I hope this isn't expired, because if I die, I'm gonna be real pissed that a beer killed me. I won't be surprised, but I'll be pissed. Okay, I don't see any bottled date on here. So, um, if I die, I love you guys. Um, don't miss work. Love my job, but I won't miss going to work. Um, bye-bye, Bills. Okay, so let's go. Hello, there we go. I guess with the orange ales, I'm looking for like a slap, almost like orange juice. This is good, don't get me wrong. But I think I just, I started with wrong expectations. And I think I need to give you guys, also I come up with video ideas on the fly while I'm recording videos. Another problem I have, and I just never remember to act on those. But anyways, um, this is good. Um, it smells like beer with the orange zest. And the orange zest, you pick up a little bit of it. Um, it's good. I would um, 
drink it out of the pool or with a meal. Like I say, I have a lot of my beer. Um, it's not overwhelming. Like, just summertime, these kind of beers are going to be pretty quick. We just have that fruit and zest, that refreshing feel to it. So, it's going to be a lot of pool beer, probably, I, I predict. Um, I would probably pair this. I probably wouldn't pair it with Mexican food. I would probably pair this with, like, grilling out foods like burgers, hot dogs. That'd be good. You know, cookout food. Like, if I had, you know, you got your drunk uncle burning all the burgers at the cookout. He'd probably drink a few of these. Because it's 6.4%, so. Not for the faint of heart. Or for a casual. Speaking of casuals, I have somehow become... I don't want to say the, the teacher or the master, but... I have some younger guys that who have recently turned 21, and I work with them, and they're like, can you teach us about beer? And I'm like, oh, you precious babies. Oh. Um, hanging out rule number one with going out for drinks with coworkers especially, you can't get drunk. Um, two, don't go out for just one beer. That That's hanging out rule. Just in general, going out for beer with people, don't just get one drink. It's insulting. If I want one drink, I can stay at home. But here I am. I'm dressed, ready to go. And you talking about, let's go out for one beer. No. I want at least two if I'm out with somebody from work. If it's a friend that I don't have to worry about work politics, we're going to have some drinks. But, um, yeah. I think I'm going to give you guys some videos on bar etiquette. Well, not bar etiquette. We already did that. Maybe just some, like, work etiquette, friend etiquette, you know. Going out with friends and coworker etiquette. Um, and probably some craft beer how to's. I feel like that would be fun. Like I said, I'm gonna keep my stories fun. I'm gonna keep them relatable. So I'm gonna give you all the best I got. I love you guys. I will see you later. Um, make good choices, sort of. Um, we're gonna be alright. <laughs>